hey, I bet you've got a lot of cables. I've got a lot of cables, and if you've seen my other videos, you will know that I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to the details in my tips videos and things like that. That extends to the way that I store my gear. So in this video, I'm gonna go through how I organize all of my cables to make sure that I don't forget anything when I'm out traveling with my equipment. Hey, I'm Johnny, I'm a photographer, and this channel is all about creativity, photography, and things like that. So if that's you, definitely consider subscribing. Now, in this video, we're gonna talk about charging your stuff, your gadgets. It could be anything from your cameras, your phone, you know, your headphones, your AirPods, whatever it is, I bet you you've got a lot of cables or a lot of cables that do wireless charging, you know, all this sort of stuff. So what we're gonna go through today is how I store my gear in one of these how I store it in one of these, and finally in one of these. So let's go through this box first. This is my main box for all of my charging stuff, and there's some interesting stuff in here, so stick around. So I'm gonna open it up. This is a cheap sort of gadget box off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description to this one specifically. So in here, we have all of my charging cables uh, across the top. So here we have USB-C, two of them, lightning cables for, you know, Apple devices, Micro USB or mini USB, I can't remember which way around that is. Uh, and then down here, more USB-C and more micro USB. In here, I have my Sony uh, battery charger in there. So these are all the cables I'll need to charge everything. In the next compartment, I have a single USB charger here a multi USB, so this is good enough for four here, and it's got like the, you know, mega charge things, whatever. Have an iPad charger in this little compartment here. You can see like that. Da -da 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 -da. And then here I actually have two massive power banks. Now these save me quite a lot. This is an older one and this is a newer one. This stuff's from Rav Power. This I, I tend to go to Rav Power for most of my stuff. Again, I'll leave links in the description for this guy, because this is really good. Uh, and this this uh, charging plug as well. I'll leave links for those. And then in this box, it gives you space for all your other stuff, so I can leave camera batteries and stuff in here. I don't have them in there at the moment. But the point is, is that when I get to a hotel room or something, or when I get onto a shoot, I can just set up everything charging straight away. I've got these two full power banks. So for example, if my camera runs out of batteries, I can start charging without any power at all. If I'm on top of a mountain and I run out of batteries or my, you know, my head torch runs out of batteries, which also charges via USB, I can use these to charge it. Whenever I've gone anywhere, these have been really, really important. So I make sure these are fully charged. This one you can see, I don't know if you can see those lights, but this is about, you know, two thirds charged. So I need to charge that one up. And all of that goes into this box here and then that slides into my camera bag. So what I do is when I arrive at the hotel or something like that, I'll take my camera bag upstairs and then I will set it down and I'll just take this out and I'll start charging everything. You know, some things require the actual device, but for most, for the most part, you know, I've got my phone charger, I've got any headphone chargers, any equipment chargers like torches and things like that. I can charge it all from this bag. This is something that's completely changed the way that I carry my equipment. Now, this is quite big, so if you're looking for something smaller, this is what I started with. This is, again, another cheap one. And it's just a single, um, it's just a single bag. So in there you can see you've got the same thing, you've got all this storage here for those cables. I think you can sort of put little bits in there, but I wouldn't trust those little pockets. I don't use those. Uh, I use these sections here, and again, you could fit a, uh, you know, a camera charger or something in this one here. Um, so this is another great option if you, you know, this could just slide into anything. It could slide into a laptop case, you know. It's thin. This I prefer because it's fat and I can fit those massive uh, battery banks in there. Now, that's what I use for normal traveling. And then if I am traveling and doing landscape photography, that's when I move to this. This is from Shimoda. This is their kind of, I think they call it their filter case actually, but I like it as a gadget case. I think I've actually got a filter in there now, but these are all basically waterproof. You couldn't, prob you probably couldn't just leave that in a lake. You know, that's probably not gonna work because these zips are not waterproof. But when it's all wrapped up, you know, when it's all wrapped up inside a bag, that's gonna be well protected. And you can sort of hang it up on 
on your tripod like this, you can see that little bit there. This is a really elegant way of storing all of your cables. Um, again, as I said, I think they market it as a filter bag. I'll leave a link to this as well. Um, Shimoda stuff is really, really well made. This is, you know, this is just standard stuff from Amazon. This is premium quality. This is in, right, really, really, really nicely made. So that's the Shimoda stuff. And why do I store my cables in such a dramatic way? You know, when you're out taking photos, there's a lot to think about. I think a lot about my, you know, creative ideas. I think about while I'm traveling to the place. Now, I don't like the stress of leaving the house knowing that I could have forgotten something. When I see these bags, all I have to do is open up my case, look at the top there, I know it's full. I know it's full because I put it all in there and I know that that is in the bag. When you've got to remember all of these little cables, you know, for example, my gimbal, it takes USB-C charging, my Sony cameras, now it can do USB-C because I have the new camera, but my old ones were the older USB cables. If you just forget one cable, you know, we have so many variations, it can mess up everything. You know, you have to scramble around finding that one cable. So having two of everything in this case, plus the ability to charge when I am not anywhere near a plug socket has absolutely de-stressed my traveling with photography gear. It's meant that I can just travel and I don't have to care about anything and I can think about all those creative ideas. So that's how I do it. If you wanna do the same thing, I will leave links to everything I use from the cables I've tested to the batteries and everything like that. Maybe that's a little bit over the top for you or maybe this is the video you've been waiting for. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have as many cables as I do. And if you found this video useful, remember hit the like button. If you found this through search, we normally talk about Instagram, photography, those sorts of things here. Uh, and I'll leave some of my other videos up on the screen right now. And if you wanna hit the round one, uh, you can subscribe and if you do, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care.